Hey folks, Dave here. I uh, hope everybody's well today. And uh, I appreciate you stopping back by to check out another video. Uh, recently, uh, a commenter asked me, why do I recommend saving uh, SVG files rather than putting them into a uh, art library? And uh, while I, I do use art libraries, I've never mentioned it because I've never done a video uh, to go through the steps of creating an art library, and uh, I didn't want to confuse anybody. Uh, but we're going to fix that today. We're going to do one. So if you look over to the bottom right, uh, you can see my art library here, and I've got, got one open. So to take you from scratch, I'm just going to unload the library, and I'm going to remove the library, if I can find it, it's right there. Okay, so now it's gone. So if you don't see library, art library, on your page somewhere, it can be anywhere because you can move it around. If you don't see it, you have a choice. You can go to either one of these uh, headers and you can click art library and bring it back up and then you'll see a tab. Or you can go over to Window, and you can find it in here. And just make sure Art Library is checked, and make sure you can you can see it. Uh, now, one of the the really good reasons for uh, having an art library is after you've had your laser for a while, you've collected up literally hundreds. Of vectors and if you don't have them categorized in some way then uh, you, you find yourself always looking for a, uh, a vector and you know you have it you just don't know where it's at so one good suggestion would be to as you download public domain vectors put those in a library that way you know anytime you use one of those you have a commercial license uh, and you can use it in any way you want to. Uh, and then you may want to separate out the ones that you've purchased uh, and then you may have some for personal use uh, that you can't use or sell on your website or, or whatever you may want to do with it. So uh, once you get your, your library open then you can basically put anything in it that you can open up on uh, Lightburn. So I've got a few downloaded. Uh, some I got some vectors, and I've got a photo we're going to deal with, and I'll put links to these down in the description. Okay, so we got this bunny, and what you want to do is just go over to the wherever your library is at, art library. Find the new button, click new, and then just name it, and I'll just call these public, and then save it. And now you can take this bunny, and since I had it selected, I need to select it again to get this to not be grayed out. So you want to click import graphic from project. And then you can name it. We'll just call it Bunny One. And it's here, uh, off to the right, and it's going to stay there. And once you build this library, uh, you can load and unload at will. So we're going to put a couple of more in here. So we're going to import some cartoon chickens. We're going to go over to the right, import graphic from project, chickens, put them in there, and then delete. Let's get another one. It's pretty simple, and it's really, uh, it's really a good way to organize your files, because they will really, really get lost. I would actually be embarrassed for you to see how many files I have on the computer that are not properly uh, 
organized. And after doing this video with you folks, maybe I'll take my own advice and do a better job of tracking them. Okay, so we're doing this again. We're going to import graphic. We'll just name this eggs. Put those over there. And then we're going to deal with a photo. Uh, you could, I don't know why that's not opening, open. Okay. Uh, when you download a photo, uh, if they offer you a large version or a small version, try to get the large because you'll have more uh, pixels and better quality. Now, you could, as you can see off to the right, you could import this photo over into the library and that'd be fine. But if you want the vector, then you can right click, trace the image. And then I've done a video on tracing images, and that's actually uh, the video that uh, led Carl to uh, to bring up art libraries. And I appreciate it, Carl. Thanks for the idea. So you have to adjust these to, to get the vector to outline exactly the way you want. And the first thing you want to do is click this fade image. And then you can see the purple lines a little better. And then you can start working with either the threshold or the cutoff. And that's looking pretty good. Uh, cutoff is, is more for uh, uh, photos, I believe, like photos of, of people uh, and backgrounds, things like that, not inanimate objects. I could be wrong. Uh, that's just what I believe from uh, from what I've seen. And uh, in the, the trace video, I linked to the uh, Lightburn documentation to help everybody out. And I'll put a, I'll put a link to that video uh, in the description, and you can go check it out. But let's see what we've got. We're clicking OK. Should be able to pull that vector out. There we go. And then we can delete the photo. And now we can import uh, this over. Easter basket. And now we have it. So if you, if you do this on a regular basis, then you will have a complete record uh, of your, your public domain vectors. And you can you can divide them up. You may you may want to do animals, uh, you know, houses, trees, and do separate uh, libraries. And that way you can uh, you can load them on top of each other. So it, if I say load again, it's just going to let me load another library, and it's going to put it in here underneath this one. And you can do that. I don't know, all the way to the bottom. I don't know how many you can get in here. But uh, it'll be helpful. Uh, so hopefully this video helps out and, uh, and, and makes more sense now. When you want one of these, let's just unload it here. We're going to unload. Then we're going to load it back, and it's right here. We're loading it back. And then when you want one of these vectors, you can just drag it over. And there you go. And then when you delete it, uh, it doesn't delete it from the library. It just deletes it from your canvas. So now that you have your library, uh, you can move it around anywhere. If you just click the header, you can pull it out and put it anywhere you want to put it. You can put it up top or on the side or wherever it's helpful to you. Uh, but when you want to put it back, just grab it, pull it over, and this should turn blue. So when that turns blue, uh, you can let go, and uh, and it'll stay there. Now, when, when I'm doing these videos, I'm providing the understanding that I have at this particular point in time. So, 
as I learn more, and I'm still in my first year of learning, as I learn more, I will update these uh, with with new information that I that I come across, or with information that the commenters provide. Uh, if you have questions about this or how to do it, uh, just drop me a comment. Uh, if you have questions about uh, any of the videos we've done, let me know and I'll, I'll help out with that or any laser questions in general. But uh, I really appreciate you folks coming and watching the videos and helping the channel grow. And uh, I hope they're helpful to you. And if you if you send some comments to uh, to let me know what I'm doing wrong or what I could do better or different, then the videos packaged with the comments will, will help a lot of people. So... Um, Y'all just take care, and uh, we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.